All right, guys, today we have a special episode for you. As you can see, we are not in the office. We're over on the corner of Fairfax and Rosewood at Catwalk Vintage. We're about to go inside, meet Michelle and Renee, the owners of the store. They're gonna help me go through, pick out some pieces to take back to our innovation lab and customize. Let's check it out. Hello, it's nice to finally meet you. Is this your co-owner? Hi, nice to meet you, Renee. I'm excited to, uh, Check out what you guys have, and you guys want to show me around? The Andy Warhol shoes? Ooh, I might, uh, I feel like this would be a good kind of basic piece to customize. While I'm peeking through this, I would love to know how you guys, you know, started Catwalk and what you were doing before it. Renee was a union costume designer. She did a, a very famous rock and roll a movie called Spinal Tap. I worked for Atlantic Records. I did music video. And then I got into clothes that way, and that's how I met Renee on, the, on a music video. What music video was it? It's the Rude Boys. I'll have to check it out. All right, I think I found another one. I don't know if this is considered vintage yet. Oh, for sure. It is? For him, that was early on. Yeah, I just want to like walk around and touch everything. There's so much crazy stuff here. Are there any other like musicians or anything or actors that you guys are really proud to have worked with? Kanye. No way. Um, he had a really long conversation with Renee and Renee helped him with his first collection. Clothing has always been a part of my life. It's the way I think that people represent themselves. Definitely, self-expression. Especially now, even more, because anything goes. I have so many ideas for the pieces I already found. I don't want to forget them. All right, guys, we got the goods. Let's hit the innovation lab back at the studio, start customizing. I'm so excited. Hey, guys, we're back from Catwalk Vintage on Fairfax. First up, we got this red jacket that you guys saw me pick out. Super vintage Gucci bag. We got some wax denim. I don't really know the brand, but pretty sick. Obviously, the Versace flannel. It's probably going to be my favorite piece we make today. I spoke too soon because we got this Tisa tea that I got a cool idea for. So. Let's start creating. They said this is something that would have been worn in like the 80s in London. I think they called it a boxing jacket. What it reminded me of right away is a little anime. I'm sure some of you guys have seen it. It's called Akira. We are going to use some adhesive spray and then just slap these on there. And then I'm gonna take them to the sewing room, get them stitched. This is just a adhesive spray. I'm not gonna give the brand away because that's a trade secret. It's highly flammable. Do not... Uh, do flammable stuff. Keep it a little bit away. Just spray it on there. You don't want to get it wet, but you do want to make sure that it's, you know, evenly coated and there's enough on there to make sure that it sticks. Ooh, and that stuff is sticky, let me tell you. We're gonna do the other piece now. Same thing, just keep it like six inches away. All right, again, we're not measuring. We're just, uh, we're sticking it on there. Boom. But this is, you know, what it's gonna look like. We're gonna go stitch it and yeah. All right, next up, we got the wax denim. I have these patches from old collegiate sweaters that we're just gonna put, a, put across the crotch area, similar to like we have these arc dickies that we released. I always like to do one that's kind of more graphical and not just like the letter itself, almost like a ransom note type of vibe. We're just gonna use the good old fashioned uh, tacky spray. I don't know if our editing team wants to do this, but maybe they could like throw up some uh, different examples of other patchwork stuff I've done in the past. Here we got this Tisa T. It's actually one of the brands that first got me into streetwear. I remember Big Sean wearing like the Tisa snapbacks back in the day. My idea for this one is making the Chinatown Market Tisa collab that has never existed. Maybe it will after this, who knows. Picked out these gradient arc rhinestones that we made. You know, we got some of the same colors and actually when I was playing around with it earlier, there's this little detail that just like, it was like God was speaking to me like, yo, that's the wave right there. The way this eye lined up on the little stem of the T, I was just like, yo, it's perfect. It was meant to be. Three, two, one, and. Giving it a little more pressure before I pull off the carrier, the little plastic carrier. You guys got any questions? Oh, I don't think I can. I don't think I can do that question. <laughs> and it's cool to the touch. So now we are going to attempt to take off the carrier. I think we're good. 
All right, next up is this vintage Gucci bag. On the way back, I remembered that Gucci has been doing, uh, I'm pretty sure it was their Cruise 2020 collection. They did a big like Disney collab or you know just Mickey collab. And using this heat tape is a good way to be also be able to visualize everything. We're gonna put a few of these on there, try to press it, see what happens. I'm gonna lower the pressure on the heat press just because this bag is so damn thick. Two, two C's or three C's. So this is gonna take a little bit of time, guys. The last piece of the day, this vintage uh, versus Versace, almost like cowboy flannel. It's got these really nice yoke. So we got all these other Mickey patches. You just throw them on there, see how it looks. I wanna do an all over thing. I wanna hit the back, I wanna hit the sleeves. How crazy would it be if I cut off the sleeves? You think there'd be an uprising like in the community? Would I be canceled? One side down. So now we got all these Mickeys all over here. Oh, you guys are still here. We're going to go over to the sewing room. I'm going to finish up all the pieces, just, you know, tack down the pockets, sew on the patches, all that stuff. All right, guys, we're back. But I got to be honest with you. I'm a fraud. I'm a fake. Shout out Liz. She saved my life and my fingers. I'd probably be like bleeding. First up, we got the Versace flannel. Um, as you guys saw earlier, we put some Mickey patches all over it. Um, we got Mickey's on the back. I decided to not cut the sleeves off. Next up, we got the Rich Karma Akira boxing jacket from the 80s. We just used the tacky spray, which was probably like the MVP of the day. It's got the perfect fraying, looks kind of vintage. The waxed denim with the town patch applique. Same thing, I you know took the tacky spray, sprayed it on the patches, stuck them on, and then Liz went around and did some tonal stitching. Um, so you can't even see it, but just know that these, these patches are on there, they're not going anywhere. The pockets are still functional. It's, it's a great piece. I'm honestly jealous of whoever got it. Next up, we got this Tisa T that we did the uh, gradient arc rhinestones over. Like I said earlier, I was just geeking out about how the eye lined up perfectly with the stem of the T. All right, we got our last piece right here. Vintage Gucci bag with the Mickey patches all over it, inspired by Gucci's uh, Cruise 2020 collection. It's gonna take a while to actually finish the piece, so we're just gonna do some movie magic. Here's the final product. It can be yours very soon. All right, guys, this has been another episode of Design Freestyle. I'm Dylan Gerstung, head of marketing here at Chinatown Market. If you want to win these one of one pieces designed right here on the show, just comment below with your favorite piece and what size you are. We'll pick five of you to give these away, um, and then you guys can wear them. Thank you again so much to Renee and Michelle from Catwalk Vintage on the corner of Rosewood and Fairfax. And shout out to Liz again for helping me sew. Shout out to the Tacky Spray. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, 